What's going on reefers? Welcome back to another video. My name is Blaine. This is the King Tide Corals channel. It's been a long time. I know it's been a while since I've gotten a video up. I have a ton going on currently with myself, my career, my family, with my own personal health. So I'm just glad to be back here making videos for you guys and chatting with every single one of you. So this video is going to be fun. We're going to be working on the lagoon here. It's been pretty much overrun with Bologna and it's about time I got in there, pulled some of the live rock out, started scraping off that bubble algae and got it cleaned up. I'm gonna do a pretty big water change as well, probably a 10 gallon water change, almost 50% for the lagoon. And we're gonna get it all cleaned up, looking right, and see how things are gonna be looking here in the next couple days after all the mess is done with cleaning up the tank. But really happy to be back here with you guys, chatting with you all. Thank you so much for the continued support. We're almost at 2,500 subscribers. Really excited about that, but let's go ahead, jump right into it and check out what's going on with the tank. Here is the lagoon tank before we get into cleaning things off. And what we're gonna be focusing on today is the bit of Valonia issues that we have. So obviously these kind of right-scaped rocks and left-scaped rocks have a lot of bubble algae on them and we're gonna be focusing on pulling those three rocks out first and scraping them clean. And then we're gonna do a big water change and get things pulled out, you know, any knock any loose bubble algae around and clean it off. But I just wanted to show you guys real quick some of the tools that I use to do a water change and do a big cleanup like this. So I'm gonna have a towel obviously for any messes. I'm gonna have some scaping tools, some scissors, and that's like a sand sifter um, for freshwater aquascaping, but I use it. This smaller end here is a great uh, end to kind of dig in and get a bunch of bubble algae free. I'm gonna have a little cup here for any snails or anything I need to bring out, clean off. I'm also gonna have my tweezers, my algae scraper, and then I have this tool right here. This is easily one of my favorite tools I've ever had. It's a toothbrush kind of end, but it has this really nice plastic bit at the end that's kind of a you know digger and scraper and I'm going to be using this tool mainly for when we start scraping bubble algae off of the live rock. I have my python hose that I'm going to be using. I have my five gallon bucket, a microfiber little towel that I can use to clean off the glass at the end and then also I have my long gloves that I'm going to be using when handling the live rock. I definitely know that there's bristle worms in here, so I wanna be smart when handling this stuff. So let's go ahead, get things set up, and let's start grabbing some of this live rock, pulling it out. We'll probably pull some of the water first, get the water level a little bit lower, and then we'll go ahead and start grabbing some of the rock. The front part of the scape is out and we're going to go ahead and start working on that next. As you guys can see, it's in the bucket, but I just wanted to show you guys real quick. The bubble algae is everywhere, so we're going to be grabbing a bunch of things. We're going to clean it out real good and we're going to start with this right side of the scape. So I'm going to get those gloves back on, pull these rocks out and really start working on everything. <music> We've gotten a chance to really scrape all the rocks. We're gonna go ahead, start grabbing the equipment that needs to be cleaned off. So these nozzles, the uh, water level adjusters for the Innovative Marine. We're gonna go ahead and grab those, clean those off from all the bubble algae, and then continue doing our water change. <music> All right, 
the nozzles are all cleaned up. So now what we're gonna do is focus on finishing up our water change and grabbing all the loose stuff on the sand bed. It's gonna be important that we try to get the majority that we can so that way it doesn't settle back down and start regrouping and forming colonies. So we're gonna go ahead and start working on finishing this big water change. <music> Here's the tank as it sits post water change. All the equipment is clean, things are looking good, clownfish seem happy, and the rock work is definitely free of a majority of the Valonia. This is something that I'm gonna have to stay on top of a little bit more, but overall things are looking good. I will say though, of course, as soon as I started cleaning my equipment, I couldn't get my eShop's nano skimmer working again, so I'm gonna take a minute, try working on that, getting that rolling, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this tank clear out. We'll give it a couple days or a day or so, and then we'll get right back to it with you guys and show you guys what's going on. Before I end a clean, I like to use some of this Fritz glass cleaner. Um, this is definitely my favorite glass cleaner I use. Um, spray a couple sprays on each side, and then I use a microfiber towel to clean it off. The next day. Well, this is the lagoon the next day after the water change and the rocks are looking a million times better. They're definitely not nearly as covered in the Valonia. Um, the bubble algae is definitely taken care of for the main amount, but what I think I'm going to do against my own judgment is grab some emerald crabs and get those guys going to work. You know, I need to have something that's pecking away and cleaning off these rocks to maintain them staying clean. I know there's definitely some tissue left over that they can grow out and start a new bubble algae little colony, but I wanna make sure I try to stay on top of it. I'll definitely make sure during water changes I'm pulling out as much as I can, but overall the tank looks really good. Really glad I did a big deep cleaning of it because it really needed it. Tank's happy though, I'm happy, so things are looking great, but I wanted to give you guys an update of how things were looking post water change. Well reefers, that's it for this video. I'm really excited we were able to tackle the bubble algae problem in the lagoon. I know it's not done yet, but I think it was great we were able to get in, do some deep cleaning and really get rid of most of the bologna. You know, there's a snippet from one of the reef therapy podcasts when it was talking about the fact that you need to be the herbivore. You need to go in and do the manual removal yourself and that way your cleanup crew can kind of come in and clean up all the scraps. So I think it's important to go in and be that herbivore, do the cleaning yourself, do the manual removal, and you can kind of help your tank take a deep breath. It was a really fun video, really great to get back in front of the camera talking with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and until next time, happy reefing.